Now let's look at a case study of an organization that did successfully build a um, product line for something non-trivial, and that's uh, a uh, ship. Now Celsius Tech, um, so it was specifically Celsius Tech AB, uh, based in um, Sweden. They'd long been known as a leading supplier of control systems, mostly um, uh, in defense type systems, military systems. Um, they they one of the yeah they're one of the group that includes Cockums and um, Bofors and um, Aerotech things like that. Now at the time of developing the systems, Celsius Tech was composed of three companies. We had Celsius Tech Systems, which is advanced software systems. We had Celsius Tech Electronics, Defense Electronics, and we had Celsius Tech IT, Information Technology Systems. So they had three different. Uh, divisions if you wish, all developing IT. Now it employed approximately 2,000 people and had annual sales of 300 million US dollars. So Celsius Tech uh, is a uh, IT software developer type system. It, it wasn't as if they built the ships themselves, but they had a, a system. Now the main site is near Stockholm with subsidiaries located in Singapore, New Zealand and Australia, which is not surprising because Australia uh, built one of those things. The Ship System 2000, which is where this product line uh, was established. Uh, this was Celsius Tech's naval product line, known as the Sh uh, Ship System 2000, or internally as a Mark III, internally they always have unromantic names. It provides an integrated system that unifies all weapons, command and control, communication systems on a warship. A typical system configuration includes one to one and a half million lines of ADA code distributed on a local area network with 30 to 70 microprocessors. So it's not trivial. A wide variety of naval systems, surface and submarine, have or are being built with the same product line. Now these include the weapons, command and control and communications portions of and there's a whole list of uh, ships there, including the Australian and New Zealand Anzac frigates, which are about you know, three and a quarter thousand tons. Um, the naval system of uh, uh, Celsius Tech has sold about 50 of these Mark III's. Now, just, just to give you an image of what's going on, uh, there's that picture there with a couple of variations. They're kind of a Corvette. Um, I'm not up on my classifications of, of uh, ships, so I won't guess uh, what that is. Now, how did Celsius Tech go about developing this product line? They had some very requirements for variations. The systems built from the product line vary greatly in size, function, and armaments. Each country requires its own operator displays on different hardware and in different presentation languages. Obviously, yeah. Sensors and weapon systems and their interface to the software do vary. Uh, submarines have different requirements than surface vessels, as you might expect. Other variations. Well, at the time this was being built, the computers in the product line included a 68020, 680 an RS6000, which is an IBM machine, and DEC Alpha platforms, which is a, a, a mini computer of some reasonable grunt. The operating systems include OS2000, which is a Celsius Tech product, IBM's AIX, POSIX, Digital Ultrix, and others. So you've got a, a really good mix of hardware that, that, could be, uh, that this system could be deployed on. The question was, how are you going to do that? The uh, Ship System 2000 product line supports a range of possible systems through a single architecture, a single core asset base, and a single organization. And, uh, Gee, how do they do that? The business drivers for this, well, shrinking development times. Now you can see the graph there, the bar graph there. Ships A and B were contracted at the same time. A and B took nine years to build each. C and D started some time later, but took a lot less time. Ships E and F, dramatically short of time uh, due to extensive reuse. So it took nine years to get the first two out the door and things reduced dramatically after that to the point where it looks as if the last couple can get out the door in about 18 months. Now that is a pretty significant achievement. 
code reuse in this uh, product line architecture. Code reuse, 70 to 80% of the components are reused without modification, leaving 20% to be reused with modification. Using core assets to expand the business areas, Celsius Tech has expanded its business into a related area that takes advantages of the architecture and other core assets that were originally developed for naval use. And here's the one that I find is just so fascinating. They took this system that was developed for a ship and applied it to an airbase. Because, well, an airbase is pretty much like a ship, except maybe it's a bit bigger, it doesn't move very much, and there's no pitch and roll. Yeah, okay. But in terms of uh, tracking um, uh, incoming enemy or something like that and uh, controlling the armaments, that's the same. Is it a ship? airbase yeah what's the difference but wonderful so this has enabled celsius tech to expand its business um, into uh, air defense because of the flexibility of the ship system 2000 architecture and product line celsius tech was able to quickly build this streak the uh, air defense lifting 40 percent from 40 percent of all the um, code assets straight from the ship system 2000 uh, system this demonstrates one of the feedback links to the ABC, the existence of the ship system 2000 product line and its architect, architecture enabled new business opportunities.